This is KTMA TV 23, Minneapolis, St. Paul. In the not too distant future, next Sunday, AD, there was a guy named Joe, not too different than you or me. He worked in a satellite loading bay, just polishing switches to pay his way. He did his job well with a cheerful face, but his bosses didn't like him, so they shot him in the space. We'll send cheesy movies, the worst ever made. Joe says when you got lemons, you make lemonade. Now keep in mind he can't control when the movies begin or end Because he used the extra arts to make his robot friends Robot roll call camera Servo Tipsy Crow If you're wondering how he eats and breathes and other science facts just to beat yourself, it's just the show. I should really just relax. For oh, Mystery Science Theater 3000. I don't like this, Clay. Shut up, Lair. This is an important experiment. Don't let me up, it hurts. It's supposed to hurt, it's science. Pons and Fleischmann got it wrong. Cold fusion works, but it has to take place in the human mouth. Wait, wait, wait. Shouldn't we start with like a sheep's mouth or something? No, we don't have the funding for that. Now open wide. What is that? It's it's just heavy water. Open oh. up. Here comes a steam shovel. Ah. Mm, chug, 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 chug. Don't swallow. This is expensive. <laughs> now the secret ingredient. Mm, look, Daddy likes it. Mm, 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 mm. Uh, here you go. It works! Yes! It's great! Mm. The best thing is, it tastes like peach blow fizz! That's not cold fusion, that's the dry heaves! Oh, well... Ugh. Back to the drawing board, then. Why don't you send Joel the movie? Last chase. <laughs> Gene Slot. The Reverend Gene Slot. Billy Burke. Wow, wow, wow. We can rebuild this movie. We have the technology. Chris Makepeace. My bodyguard. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Mama, Come on, bow with me, bro. Mama, 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 Mama. That's good. Oh, it gives me a headache. Trouble. Hope he's got his cables. Do you feel like uh, using cables is a very exact science servo? No. Sending ankle deep in slush, holding onto two cords with enough energy to reanimate a dead horse, holding up a metal hood with your shoulder. I think that's how Spider Man got his superpowers. Ah! 
pump, 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 the pump, pump, mm, pump. Exxon. Our gas contains no seawater. That's a model. You ever realize the expense of having an actual gas pump? Oh, yeah. It's got to be. Foam core? Especially one that size. <clears throat> that was in 2001, the Space Odyssey, too, I think. Mm hmm It was the monolith. Huh? What? What's this? Prepay after 11. Mr. Hart! Fetch. Fetch, is that you? Now you kind of run out of gas, Mr. Hart. I couldn't find more. Honest. Fetch, come on. What's what going on? With you? Lee. We could always get whatever we wanted. Not anymore. Oh, I can get the answer. But the I times are changing. The only gas you got is in that station wagon of yours back there. And you better do something about that, too. All cars supposed to be checked in the depot a week ago. Everything's going crazy. They even canceled the World Series. And I'm sorry about your family, Mr. Hart. I was going to send some flowers, but can't even get those anymore. No flowers? So I sent a cabbage. Oh, wow. I'll be gone now. Gotta be crazy to hang around here. Not getting any better. At least Lee Majors can still get some moose. Too bad you couldn't erase that new car of yours, though. You could always write a new book, The Use, Misuse, and Abuse of Styling Moves. He's no dummy. He's just a bad actor. It doesn't make him stupid, it just makes him untalented. <clears throat> At least he's driving practical now. That's right, a family car. With a stud mobile. <coughs> Excuse me. You just cough up a loogie? Going home no. was always the hardest part. My what wife and my son were among the first to be stricken by the disease. What disease? It all happened so suddenly. For a month or so, I had some kind of delayed reaction. To the wallpaper? I'd go back home and somehow just expect them to be there. Maybe they could have been had you not buried them. I kept hearing sounds that weren't there anymore. Those of us who survived learned to cope with changes. He must have had an erector set. I lost the chance to do what I do best. Not since his wife Race died. cars. But like so many other things in our lives, it suddenly became expendable when the oil was shut off. I helped in the emergency field hospitals as much as I could. There were so many people that needed help. At first they came in by the hundreds, and then by the thousands. Military personnel were working the around the clock trying to control the chaos in ways that no one really wanted. Oh, this car should have been turned in. Come on, move that! Must be waiting for uh, Death was Grateful everywhere. Dead tickets. And no one was sure how it started. A wire fence is generally enough Some to contain said a disease, it was a kind I think. Of Legionnaire's disease. But others had more conspiratorial theories. Germ warfare. Terrorists. The rumors were endless and terrifying. <laughs> Easy. Close your eyes oh, and I'll kiss you tomorrow. Oh, my little girl. She's all alone. It's all right, so she's better through. I want to hold your head. Oh, please, say to me. We lost track of the days, and after a while, we just learned to live with the panic and fear. It became part of our lives. Baby, you can turn in my so car. I subsided. Paperback writer. 
still has feathered hair. But all that was a long time ago. Over 20 years. Did we just authorize a flashback or a flash forward? Flash flood of his face. 20 years worth of, worth of styling did not hurt his hair at all. Uh, I think his ends were split, though. I, I think he's... Uh... It's damaging the follicles. I knew it was an oil shortage, but not oil of Olay shortage. Helsinki's still pumping it out by the gallon. And I wouldn't use direct heat on the hair like that. I'd use a diffuser. Things you pretend you've gotten used to. No cars, going to work at a job you don't like, and living by the rules. The endless rules that they've made for us over these last two decades. Like so robotic you learn to hide a part of yourself away from the others. Yet they still didn't make any better on. bikes. Day by day by day. By day. For a building built during the energy crisis, it sure doesn't look very efficient. And now it gives me great pleasure to introduce you to the spokesman for the Mass Transit Authority, a man who used to be one of the most famous racing car drivers in the world, Mr. Frank Hart. Woo! Yay. Thank you. You know, I keep on being asked what a race car driver is. Well, back in the days when we had oil, it was possible to go from A to Z in the time it now takes to go from A to B. Except for all the hours we spent lining up for gasoline, of course. <laughs> the olden days. This is the subject These are the good work. old days. We got this this morning outside his office at the Transit Commission. He was three and one-half minutes late. His name is Franklin Hart. Do we have any other information on this man? I think I have something here that just came in. We got this last night. He was recorded going into a confiscation yard. Okay, stop it here. Video cameras everywhere. This was the third time he's been recorded in a place like this. A world place. run by Sony. He was there for about 27 minutes. Well, what is he carrying? I think it's something from an old car. It says here that he had some trouble adjusting to the new system. What was that report from the historical section? He has a couple of minor offenses for breaking rules. He used to race cars back when they were legal. He was responsible for a fatal car crash in the 1980s. They say he lost his nerve and wasn't able to drive at high speeds anymore. This footage is from that race. But he shot Liberty Valance. He ran over the head of Alfredo he Garcia. Family epidemic. He was a... And that's enough, Mr. Morley. He was a commercial monger. Leaving only these made-for-TV hash overs. This make piece looked like he combed his hair with an iron. A five iron. <laughs> it's impossible to tap into the system, but somebody's doing it. Mr. Morley, I want it stopped. Duh. Thank you, dragon bitch. Don't you ever say that again. Dragon? <laughs> say lizard. I don't like this perspective on Lee Major. It That's must better. have been the race in which Franklin Hart of the United States defended his lead in overall points. 
But Golden after two laps, years. Hart lost control Go, of the corner, and wop, just wop, behind wop, him, Hans wop, Koenig of wop, West wop, Germany wop. and Stefan Albers of South Africa were sent crashing into one another. He's and reliving Koenig it. Never stood a chance. Thanks, Franklin. He was out of reach of desperate rescuers. Franklin Hart did not complete the race and went into seclusion. Hart, this is Hart City TV. Can you tell us how your husband is? He's alive. I don't know. They, I told him he's all right. Is there any other thing? Can you help me out? Did you pray? I don't I want feel. To see my husband. Oh, man. That's got to hurt. I don't care what your background is. It's okay. This is Radio Free California calling America. Our signal will probably be jammed in less than a minute by bureaucrats who now control this country. We have returned to the land, to the deserts, to the mountains, and to our cities. California is a separate country now. To and Here I come. Looks like his BVDs are holding up pretty good over the years. Larry Hagman's right. For value and fit. And up from the ground came a bubbling crew. That's no way to kill roaches. See, I buried this car around here somewhere. My name is Franklin Hart. I've been asked to claim the years of the advances being made. Garbage. Former race car driver, now fanatical mass transit fan. Riding the subways and trains into the hearts of mankind. Come on, Judd, not another bar. This place is different. That's what you said about the last place. It's got real women. It's solid gold. It is different. Tune that piano. Frank, this is supposed to be fun. It looks like fun to me. Where's the mango bar? It's always a pleasure to see so many young, smiling faces, also some faces that aren't so young. And in a moment, I'm going to introduce you to a man who is the spokesman for the Mass Transit Utility, a man who in his time was one of the most famous race car drivers that there ever was. But I guess you kids from the 32nd District Boarding School wouldn't even remember what a racing car was. He does. It was before your time. So Frank, come on out here and talk to these people. We certainly don't know who Lee Majors was. You know, he's starting to look more and more like Boss Hogg. Sorrel Book? My name is Franklin Hart, and I've been asked to explain to you That's some the of the advances being made nine to by five, played by Dabney Coleman. Authority. These advances are... These advances, uh... He's gonna snap. He blew a rod. I want to be there when he snaps. These advances. <laughs> You know, I've been explaining about these advances for two decades now. Truth I was is. chosen for this job because I was a race car driver. Racing cars were vehicles that uh, could go at incredible speeds and uh, compete with each other. And they were private vehicles. Yes, private vehicles. 
underwritten by giant corporations. You see, I was chosen for this job, something like a reformed sinner, talking to a church congregation, spreading the gospel of moving you around from this place to that place to another place without any problems. No pollution. No, no guilt. That's, that's the No guilt? Part. No guilt. No express you see, in the old days, we were supposed to feel no slightly personality. guilty about cars. They, they created social problems. No uh, problem. Oil companies are making too much money, uh, too many highways. Uh, always guilt. Mountains of the stuff. So we Mountains changed all that. I mean, we went from we oil go. to nuclear to solar to what we have now, which is, uh, which is mainly a lot of rules. I mean, there's thousands of them. They're growing like mushrooms. time for your humanity lesson, okay? Oh, cool. hmm. uh, first thing we're going to do uh, is, number one, always say please and thank you, even if you don't mean it. All Jack? Right? Roger. Okay, number two, always remember to call your mom, or in your case, me, every weekend. Roger. Got it? Jack. Number three, never let them see a sweat. Three that's things, it. that's it? Wow, and you keep complaining that life is a sad bale of tears? Wow. Well, Part of being a human being is developing a conscience. That's a big part. Conscience? I think. What's that? Well, sound it out. Conscience. Con-science. Con you, you mean a quack scientist? Yeah, like uh, Eric Von Daniken. Oh, like the guy who wrote uh, Ancient Astronauts, right? Yeah, see right there, Ancient Astronauts. That's ridiculous. Everybody knows that astronauts have to be between 28 and 45. Now, by conscience, I mean how you guys felt when you guys locked me out of the ship a couple of weeks ago. You mean self-satisfied, free from our shackles of bondage? No, I think I'm going to have to use another example. Uh-oh, is this going to be another one of those Bob Newhart stories? Well, having a conscience is kind of like when you're programmed with the three robotic laws. Now, I've typed up an example here. It's, uh, I'll download a simulated conscience program into your RAM. And this one has an accelerated module with a moralistic add-on, okay? Let's key in some low-level guilt as well. Oh, there you go. what, what, what's that? Oh, uh, look, uh, look what you've done to my shirt. Uh, is there something green on me? Is there something in my teeth? Did you put a bug on me? Is there, where? Is there Regional a bug? Sounds great. Say? Huh? Yeah, hey, I think I put the wrong module, and it must have been the paranoid module what? by mistake. What? Well, what? what did I do? Listen, we better go to a commercial. You better have your moralistic ad on while you watch it. Enjoy. Enjoy. Go into a commercial. Oh, it's a movie. I think it's Atari's Missile Command. I thought this computer interference was under control. This is supposed to be a foolproof system. The tracer has it narrowed down to a six-block area. But this is no fool. By a park and a boarding school. Ready to transmit. James Earl Jones, I think. Clear all channels to receive transmission. never imagine the future being lit so poorly. Crazy. I'm not gonna retire. It's not exactly a retirement. They want us to suspend you. What's the problem now, Judge? Which ass didn't get kissed this month? Look, I'll fix it up as soon as I talk to these school kids. Look, you don't understand. It's different this time. It's not like all the other times. It's official. What do you mean it's official? They, um, they want you where they can keep an eye on you. It means jail, Frank. Oh, man. Hey. Headless college. The Ichabod Crane School for Boys. You mean there's no headmaster? <laughs> Quill, you're ahead. But 
That's impossible. How could anyone in this school be interfering with your police line? Headbanger high. Coming from up here. Here. Uranium? On the third floor? Uranus. On the third floor? Look at the size of those sea monkeys he's got growing in there. What are these guys doing, playing golf? Night golf. Look at those sea monkeys Mind there. if we arrest through? What's the guy doing living in a college all-purpose room? I like a police car you can outrun. Looks like he found the door. important to you. I'm the only person who applauded your speech the other day. Hold me. I take it you didn't bring the rest of the audience. It's the police. They're after me. Rick. What next? Nice hair. Yes. Sorry to bother you, sir. We're looking for a young man, a runaway. Sorry, boys, I can't help you. I fell asleep a while ago. I was uh, just uh, waiting for the rest of my family to come home. All right, thanks. Just call in if you see anything. Deep. I sure will. Thank you. The runaways were an all-girl group anyway. Boy, are they confused. There she is. A Porsche. Twelve miles to the gallon. Or is that his bed? <laughs> what is it? It's a car. It's a car. See? It's a car. It's my mother. It doesn't look like the ones in the history books. A car. What are you going to do with it? Drive it. Drive it. To California. You heard that illegal broadcast, too. You're going to California, aren't you? Why don't you just take care of your own problems? Maybe. Going to California. Grandma, you right what up on top. What was the um, report from the two policemen who went to his house this evening? Nothing. Just that he'd fallen asleep and was waiting for his family to come home. Wait a Family? Up. He doesn't have a family. You goof. What's all that? Mm -hmm. Oh. So no I like his outfit. Boston. You know, most of these roads haven't been driven on in 25 years. And there's no way to get out of the city. All the roads have been blocked at the outskirts. I got a friend that'll help me. Who? Smokey the Bear. I'm not trying to be nosy. I'm just curious. No kidding. Want some soil and green? What's in the bag? These are my chemicals. Your chemicals? Yeah, I carry them around everywhere. I also brought some electronic equipment. Tell me exactly why are the police after you? Well, I haven't heard anyone. That's what you're talking about. So answer the question. I tapped into government lines. What else? I rearranged a few things. Well, what the hell does that mean? I changed the name of the country to ASU. You got any other talents I should know about? I'm great with fabrics. Mind if we play through? Full I body have, rub. coming to the house now. You can hide in the attic and leave after the police have gone. Good luck.
I think we know what he's gonna do. Come back, Shane. Well, let's see, a Formula One Porsche versus a golf cart. goes up and down by itself. Shine it straight in front of us. Suspect is driving a white dot. You mean dot then? I think there's an easier way to play flashlight tag. She's heading for the tunnel. She's fascinated by him. Call for barricade. Hope nobody pushes that guy's flesh button. It's a pretty mighty roadblock. prevent commercials. One after another, the Daredevil pilots race from the East Coast to California, each man showing the skills honed of the deadly skies of the Korean War. Why the deadly skies of Korea? Well... And when the first Sabre jet lands in California, a new transcontinental speed record has been set with a plane coming almost 90 minutes in front of its closest competitor. Wow. For those at the finish line, the winner is no surprise. Air Force Captain J.G. Williams, the celebrated war ace, once again dazzled the experts by his outstanding performance. I celebrated J.G. Williams once. Of his flying machine, a well-deserved welcome for a decisive victory. And what is this? Captain J.G. Williams. The aluminum foil magnet? Congressional Medal of Honor winner. And one of the greatest jet pilots in both the Korean... Burgess, maybe? It has to be it's Meredith, morning. doesn't it? I have an assignment for you. Hello? Anyone home? Captain Williams? Leave me alone. I'm sleeping with my kite. For the benefit of Mr. Kite. Two-legged blood. There will be a show. How'd you get in? The door was open. 
Look, sir, I'm not here on behalf of your wife. Yeah. Changey Williams, this is your wife. You ever, uh, ever fly a kite? Not you like this. Been. You ever eat a pine tree? Do you know, Mr., uh, oh, what the hell's your name? Morley. Morley, that when the Chinese invented the uh, kite, it was supposed to be a way to get you up closer to the gods. Kind of a space shuttle for the soul. <laughs> How'd all that traffic noise get in there? Hey, uh, you want a belt? Sure. No, I've got no, suspenders. No. Thank you. God. I'm gonna quit this stuff too. Those bikes are right those now. bikes right. make a lot of noise, right. Joel. What's that? Those bikes Captain make a lot of noise Williams. now. They got a lot of cards in the wheels. Because there's there's do. there's no more oil. Your government so you can't. needs you, sir. Yeah. The last time uh, my government needed me was the Vietnam War. And listen, man, I flew 138 missions, and I should have come back a damn hero. I've got the medals to prove it. Is what he doing Sammy Davis Jr.? That's what I was thinking. A white Sammy Davis. Man. I he... believe they want you to fly again, sir. Is he like this human cyborg like Sammy is? Having any damn effort. Fake hip, fake eye. He's going to be the cyborg nightclub Robert comedian. He'll live forever because it'll be, be all replacement parts. Don't talk over he'll the He'll be movie. totally my bionic, man. Oh, that's good for the plan. Hey, man. Mr. Hawkins. Hmm. Captain Williams to see you, sir. JG. Send him in. GG. Mr. Oh. Smug. Oh, GG. Thank heaven for little pilots. He's naked. Because little pilots get bigger every day. Oh, thank heaven. Captain Williams, how good to see you. Sir. He's getting the shakes, though. He's a rent pilot. Boxers to train. We. Uh oh. Who's going to clean it? Are these the Oak Ridge boys? Just cameras everywhere. No wonder they got an energy problem. What do you see there, Captain? I see a car and two people. Wow, look at that. <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's much more than a car. We have an entire country under closed circuit. Well, that's all I can see. This man's dangerous. This little joy ride he's on is undermining the entire balance of this country. Sir, so this is just one car. I mean, a little exhaust isn't going to upset the whole balance of the universe. You are missing the metaphor. Uh, uh, is a matter who? I am talking about our entire way of life, Captain. We live in a society 
that has the greatest tranquility ever created by man. Furthermore, you mean boredom? This society is more protected than any other in history. And do you know why? Dorky well, guys in golf carts. Because of a system. <clears throat> a system of our existence which has been worked out so perfectly. In fact, it is that system which dispelled the desperate quest for the impurities contained in mobility. Huh? The mobility which had driven this nation like rats scurrying in every direction. That huh? led us nowhere. Nowhere! Mellow out, it's just Lee Majors. Now, we have removed that addiction and brought order and tranquility the two most fragile flowers in any civilization. And this man! This fool! They don't understand. Gaining the natural hygiene of our society mm -hmm. and tampering with the world's most perfectly balanced system. Grr. If he makes it to California, he's going to make the fall guy. <clears throat> Hard to do two Sorry. shows with an act like that. <clears throat> what do you want me to do about it? I don't know about you, Mr. Hart. Maybe you're getting too old for that kind of driving. It was ridiculous the way you came barreling down on that guy on the road, driving like a maniac, swerving around at the last possible moment. Just kick him into the lake know. or something. Maybe your reflexes are going. Or maybe you're just trying to show off for my benefit. Maybe I was right. I've never been impressed by that kind of childishness, so you're wasting your time. It has to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Call me maniac, huh? Here, here's a towel. All <laughs> oh, the antics. This is bringing them closer together. Bonding. Hey, they're gonna lose the soap. Look, oh, there it went. It reminds me of an old Salem ad, but those got outlawed right, too. Got yeah. Uh. You can take Salem out of the country, but you can't take the country out of Salem. Now it's just a Mountain Dew ad. <laughs> E.T. Simple. Sure is a nice floor. Thank you. Band. They hurt me, Burgess. They hurt me badly. <laughs> Can you still talk? Ouch, that hurts. Boom, 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 boom. Burgess, you need to shave. He's got a thing for old birds. Never fear. Bob was here. I feel better now that you're here, Burgess. Burgess, we hate it when you sing. Yeah, just play the trumpet. What are you hanging around here for? What kind of a plane do you think this is, huh? Let's go, let's go. Make those tests yet on the burning. What? What do you think this is? A chicken party? Let's go. What about tires? Come on, do What something. kind of a plane do you think this Why is? Don't... What do you think this is? A chicken party? What a killjoy. Is he ever going to run out of gas? Thank you. Good thing those pumps have nitro burning gas in them. Wilbur. 
It's a cameo. I hope Portia. It's got to feel good. real fast until they pick up enough air speed. Oh good, it's fully armed. And new paint job too. J.G. G. William. J.G. stands for jerky guy. No, it stands for just goofy. You know, I really believe that he could pilot that plane. He makes me want to believe it. Is this like old NFL highlight music? But for Vince Lombardi and the Green Bay Packers, there would come another day. Boy Dollar. Bart Starr. Paul Horning. Some big guy with no neck and a helmet. Ronald Reagan? Woody Wood. Fuzzy Thurston. Ken Bowman. The incredible Johnny the Wobbler. MacArthur Lane. Minnie Pearl. Robert and Jim Minton. Oh, baby. Oh, baby, that's... Uh, Mickey Dolan. Gomer Pyle. Oh, you're better and sexier. Denver Pyle. Oh, shh. I want to hear this. Oh, that's it. Oh. I think I just got sick. I don't feel like we should be listening to this. I think he got his harness caught on something. Excuse me, Mr. Hawkins. I think it's a bit extreme to send out a jet fighter. I don't think we have a prayer to hell getting him back, though. Extremism in the defense of virtue is no vice. Well, I have another plan, and it's in effect right now. A phone call? In that area, there is only one road that they can stay on, and at the western edge of Pennsylvania, they will be stopped by a roadblock. Because we know how effective the last roadblock was. How many Smokey the Bear signs can there be? Come on, you get behind here! I bet that Coke is still good after all these years. Oh, yeah. It's melted through the cans, but it's still good. It's nice to know they changed it back from classic, though. We have something to look forward to. Because this is such a futuristic vision. What is it? <laughs> Satellite hookup. Probably communications with the people in the control room. What should we do? Knockout drops. All this coke is mine. Hey, you think this stuff's still any good? Nah. Been sitting here since before you were born. So what? Then why are you bad. guarding it? Take the roadblock challenge. It's fine. What the? He really knows how to fill out a uniform. I'm going to get something to drink. Can't beat it. Make mine a trouble. Can't beat it. Feeling we get from that coke. Ow. Hey, look at that. Wake up. Look at that. What is that? Well, it's a big day, isn't it, Servo? Number 1,000 yep. fan club member. Our 1,000th fan club letter. Put it up on the big screen, Camba. Let's have a look. 
Uh, there's the front of it. It says Destination Unknown See You Where No Man Has Gone Before. Very post-punk. Uh, and here's the, who it's from. Miss Ms. Gidget Hole. Howell. Howell. Oh. And she it. says, yes, that's my name, Gidget. The, uh, what, what would that make her? The love child of Sally Field and Jim Backus, I guess. Right. Gidget love Howell. Me. I guess you love me. <laughs> Yeah, I guess she did. Okay, Curl, let's have the prize. Did you bring it? I, I couldn't find it, Joel. I don't know where the demon dogs are. Okay, here it is. This is what you won. The oh! demon dog hat from the, from, the, <laughs> from the opening credits of the show. You see it wear like that. It's a little bit hard on the skull, but cool. what do you want for nothing? Oh! We got movie stars! Those horses should have been hooked up 10 minutes ago. What the hell's my radio? Be careful with that car. This is Ranger 1. The fugitive vehicle has been intercepted. Further instructions. Over. Control. Watch out for the horse-drawn semi. What the hell is going on? I want to get through to them. I know. I can't. I don't know what's going wrong. Daddy, what's Vietnam? Come on, move off the road. Going back to their old ad campaign, Coke takes life. <laughs> home that was beautiful happy now then gonna freak we can get down to business he's gliding there's no desert between Pennsylvania and New York this is the future Control, Eagle One, passing over Pennsylvania. What's the latest? The Appalachian. Eagle One, this is Control. Uh, we've lost them temporarily. I believe they're on the other side of the Kansas border, over. Kansas? We'll find them and we'll catch them. They went from Pennsylvania to Kansas? Well, you guys, do you think there's any way that those two are going to end up on the same side? Oh, you know it. You think so? Oh, yeah. You well, think so, Servo? Well, they both started out so darn friendly. Well, they're both into freedom and motorized vehicles. High performance in vehicles. Right. They're yahoos at heart. Hey, they changed their clothes. Are you cooking tonight? I did it last night. I know, but the beans were terrible. Sorry. They weren't beans. We ran out of beans two weeks ago. <laughs> oh, in that case, they were delicious. You do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> the dishes. <laughs> what a great classic gag. Did he eat at McDonald's? <laughs> What's that? Something they used to have years ago. Another Protein disc between wheat foam. For amber waves. Is that his underwear up there? No, he's flying a manta ray. What did you do besides race cars? I rest cars. I'm mm. fond of women, but I have weekends off and I own my own bar. I said, what do you do besides you just race cars? Shh. Uh, well, I uh, play the clarinet. I'm serious. You're always serious. <laughs> I can't help it. Buck up, little buddy. I think I'm pretty. What else did you do? Uh, I had a family. Did you have a son? A bionic one. Uh, yeah. Am I your son? Would he have been as old as I am? A little older. 
Who would have been taller, though? Not as much of a wimp. Yeah, much less Femi. <laughs> you know, you've never told me anything about your own family. They exploded. Oh, I haven't seen much of my parents. I'm the demon seed. Why not? What's the difference? They sold me Nothing at birth. Nothing I ever did was good enough. I looked to so a family. I stopped trying. Or caring. That's why I dress this way. Get him back. Punch him. Kill, kill. Don't take that. Throw him into the fire like he threw you into the lake. So what's Burgess been in the air for three days? Well, he had to stop to fly his kite. Oh, yeah, that's right. Those supersonic fighters ain't what they used to be. Many long echo. years ago. Echo, 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 echo. I'm a wimp, 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 wimp. You're right, you're right. What a great time to polyglycoat the car. Wouldn't this be great at the Omni Theater? Simon eyes shine. He's gonna wax philosophical. You've never seen this part of America, have you? I haven't seen any of America before. Yeah, well, wait till you see the Rockies. You've huh? never peed in the woods before, have you? No, just over the, uh... What? I haven't heard that sound in 40 years. That was the beans. He's turning into a werewolf. He's turning into Michael Landon. He's turning into a flying squirrel. He's turning into a mountainside. The pedal to the metal, Lee. Usually yeah, majors as landing gear. He's our rocking chair. Hates to you, good buddy. Breaking on the one. Hammer down. Smokey report. Chris Makepeace is the neon peon. Come on. Chris would like the trip a lot more if he didn't keep getting bugs caught on his teeth. that supersonic fighter, I'll catch him. The plane is turning back toward the car. He's out for blood. I don't feel so good. The plane is closing at five miles. Four miles. Think you'll outrun him? Three miles. What's next, Servo? Two miles. He's catching up to us. Quick, pull down that alley. Two thousand feet. Two thousand feet. What's he gonna do? Make fun of him when he catches up? He's got a couple genie missiles on there. Those could do some damage, I think. They're going to hide in the restroom. Yikes. Did he take a bullet? Mellow out, J.G. Of course he did. Vietnam's over. It's just a through it's hole. Right. Still got one good arm to drive with. And, make, and Chris Makepeace doesn't even have his temp shot.
like to strike fear into him like I did in Da Nang. Getting him running around like a goat in a barrel. No, that's a goat on a rooftop. Fish in a barrel. Goat on a hot tin roof. Fish in a barrel. Goat on a hot tin roof. Yeah, and it's a cat on a hot tin roof. Goat tell it on the mountain. Yeah. Up it's a on cat the, on a tin roof Sunday, isn't it? Out on the hill of the lonely goat Sunday. Little old lady who? Who what? Only drove this car to church in Pasadena once every week. I'm not buying that. Come on. Okay, would you like to buy this bridge? Oh, sure. What was I've it? got a partial right now. It's called a jet fighter. It was known as the saber. Like the sword? Yeah. No, like the no, tiger. Like a plane. And it just comes down out of the sky and kills you? Usually ass first. That's exactly what it does. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, I'm all right. It's a scratch. Merely a flesh wound. I don't feel good unless I take a bullet. We gotta move to lower ground, around the other side of the mountain. Come on, son, get in. What an awful dream I had. I had too much to dream last night. Ungawa. Hi. Wow. Chris Makepeace turned into an Indian girl. It's a hippie love tribe. It's always been a dream of his. All right. People living off the land. Making it right. What are they supposed to live off of? The air? Enter the leading lady. I lived off a surfboard for a while. I lived off all that crowd that gets in the bottom of the Look, toaster. I've got to know if this is some kind of trick. I'm not sure I understand. We have had people come here before who weren't who they said they were. I like it here. I don't want to be driven out of another home. I'm Franklin Hart. I didn't exactly plan to stop here. The Indians aren't sure of you. Or the boy. Where is he? He's all right. He's with my son. Oh, great. That opens a whole other can of worms. Is this Indian land? Yes, they reclaimed it all after everyone else had left. And they're allowing us to stay here as long as we don't attract too much attention. Do you want us to leave? Pop the clutch. He's Pop. just getting his temps. How else is a kid going to learn in the 21st century? Two horsepower. <laughs> Those horses sure look like, like they could rip apart a pair of Levi's. Hey, and look, it's one of the village people. Are you worried about the plane? No. Satellites. We put our metal all in the mine shaft there. Who's the old man? It's my grandfather. He used to be a New York cop. He's gone a little funny, though. He was real happy to see you guys. His name's Columbo. He's been waiting for years just to give someone a ticket. I've been waiting years just to get one. Nice quaff. Move it on, move it on. I think Gramps is kind of like gone around the bend. Gramps has snapped a twig. Oh, a theme restaurant. It's so creative. Airplanes go to die. 
don't you live in that, Burgess? That guy just doesn't get enough. Up in the air all day and then flying kites the rest of the day. He's an airhead. Control, control. Eagle I've lost one, control. Arizona. Well, what the devil happened? I, I lost them. In the woods. Gotta wake them out. The bad damage to the car, though. Why didn't you stop them? Well, hell, I just figured you wanted me to scare them. Wrong, Captain. I want that man. Kibble. You know what I mean. Understood, sir. You can refuel there. Stand ready. Over. Yes, I can friend, sir. Sure do, sir. Yes, sir. Over and out, sir. On Phantom way, sabre sir. jets and B-52 bombers generally do share the same fuel. I offered. Oh, well, I'm managing. I'm not so sure about that. You know, I used to be a nurse before everything changed. Mm. And the ones who insisted on doing everything themselves were as bad as those who wanted you to do everything for them. Yeah, why? Because half the time they did it wrong. Oh, but there's always the other half. Well, in this case, it doesn't matter, because it's not serious. Oh, yeah? Kind of an inventive use for a shoulder pad. Away. Guess that means I'm out of luck. That's right. No sympathy. She knows how to get the maxi out of a pad. He died. Nice servo. What are you doing out here? Well, we fled the cities and we spent eight years moving around from place to place out here like gypsies. Where is Gypsy? I should be asking you what you're doing out here. Heading for California. That doesn't answer my question. Let's just say I'm doing what I have to do. I hope it's one of ours. It's flown by a horse. He you, doesn't he? Equilibrium cycle, Joel. Stabilize me. Thank you. Where's the uh, closest safety commissioner to that area? We have one over in Salt Lake City, sir. Mm -hmm. Closer. You tell us to uh, tough to deal with. How about Tucson? We closed Arizona eight years ago, sir. Denver? Yes, sir. We have an outpost there. See if they'll give us a... Golf cart. Surveillance team and a few tugs. Mm -hmm. Just like hunting, Mr. Morley. You find the animals, then you flush them out. Come on, back to work. What do you think this is, a Spielberg film? Nothing but the best. Mr. Holiday Morley, snaps. instruct our troops to wait until they find the car. Yes, sir. I think we're going to have to be going, so. Why? Nobody's forcing you out. He's going to have to be given what he wants sooner or later. That's terrific. So he gets to kill both of you. He almost did it once before. No. I don't think he intended to that time. No, it was me. I choked up. I hadn't panicked. Pulled into that gas station. I, I don't think he would have hit us. I spent 25 years rehearsing for that moment when I'd be able to drive that car like I did in the old days. Across the country? Through his garage door. Afraid. Oh. Terrified. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I am a star, in case you didn't know it. Oh, yeah, Can-Am. Second in Le Mans. Top ten in international points, the whole bit. What Even a bragger. If the hadn't have been taken away, I uh, still wouldn't have been able to keep up with my act. Still can't live with it, huh? 
You see, I was in a crash. Why are you telling me all this? A couple of drivers were killed. Hmm. Because of you? It all uh, happened for He wants to get her pumpkin. Very simple reason. I've been drinking. I lost my nerve. Mm -hmm. No one knew it except me. And no, we the know drivers. it. She's thinking, boy, I'd rather be doing so something else. So when I buried that car in my garage, I, in a way, I was glad. Mm -hmm. I don't know why I'm telling you this other than... I lived with my little secrets. Uh-huh. Come on, let's dance. No way. There it is. Watch my arm. Swing your partner around in the air. So her and tie her to a chair. Grandpa wants to bust some head. They're not slam dancing, but it'll do. Is he dancing with a guy? They still haven't found the car yet, sir. I'm quite aware of that, Mr. Morley. Well, now get me Captain Williams. I want him to drive those people out. Well, what if the guys on the outside ever tossed basketballs at Morley? Captain Williams, do you read me? Captain Williams, come in. Quiet, I'm playing with my balloon. What's the matter with you, huh? I don't know. What's the matter? A hoedown. Oh. Hoedown there. You lucky bastard. Up to the gods. He is juiced. Poor guy. Getting the heebie-jeebies. No, Burgess, it needs to be light for you to do that. I won't ask you not to go. Now that you've left your seat here, Take good care of my baby. I understand. Tender to a fault. Yeah, she's putting her head on his bad shoulder. You like your door, don't you? In fact, you more than like her. More than like her. Like tag, you're it. You you're like it. No, no, no tag backs. GP no. period. Come on, I want to know what more than like in her means. You love her, don't you? I love. What do you know about love? Enough to know when I see it. You little smart ass. Hey, hey. <laughs> I don't care what they say, Crow. It's wrong to kill. Well, could I hurt him? No, I don't think that's right. Hey, uh, we've been getting some great letters from all you people. We really appreciate them. They help pass the time here in space. Anyway, this one's from a guy named Bobby Hodges. And Let's put it Bobby. up on the big screen, Cambot. And uh, Servo, why don't you read this I one? love this one. Hi, Joel. I like Tom Servo because when Tom said, City on fire! I like when Joel hits Servo in the head. Yeah. One of my favorite moments, too. Thank you so much, Bobby. And I like when Joel sings, when you have lemnus, you make lemnus nos. That's what I like, and Servo, stop messing with people. Bobby's a freshman at the University of Minnesota. What? <laughs> what lemnus nos? Lemnus nos means. Backwards masking for Buddy Epson has salmonella, I think. Anyway, Bobby, we can do the uh, head thing again for you here. Oh! Hope we got movie stars! This is a radio receiver. It should pick up signals from all over. It'll be useful when we get going again. This is a close-and-play photograph. 
It's used to play your favorite songs in stereo. You do want to go, don't you? Open it. This is Radio Free Play. There's been no further word on the car that was last seen approaching the rock. Close it. We will continue to bring Stop. you further details. Control, this is Expedition. We are proceeding with Plan Alpha. Over. Why is that voice so much louder? Maybe because it's close to us. Maybe because it's right behind you. Uh-oh, Grandpa's carving pumpkins. That's the only thing he's got for mug shots. He's trying to bring the band back together. He carves the pumpkins, then he arrests them. Oh, oh. Grandpa takes the bullet. So he took one down with him. Is this really necessary? Yes. It is to me. Yipes. I want to see you, Dora. No. Well, what happened to her? She's all right. It's you and the boy that are after. Now leave. Just me and the boy. Making our way across the country. I've tracked him again, sir. Get me Captain Williams. Now we see what happens. Got no hiding places where they're heading. The Rocky Mountains. They could hide, hide in Chris Makepeace's hair. I've never actually operated the system myself, sir. I don't think anybody has. It was installed quite some time ago in case, you know, the Russians. NORAD. <laughs> All righty. I could make it, I could do something. Mushroom cloud of death. All righty. Laser beams. Hey, it works. <laughs> Great, it's a cactus killer. Woo, that's something. Now, now practice. Practice? Practice. Practice? With his, with his, uh... Whoa. No cactus is safe. <laughs> so the Russians were hiding behind cactuses? Was that the plan? They snuck over dressed as cactus. Okay. Some of them dressed as tumbleweeds. They invaded Nevada first. Yeah, they... If were... they took Vegas, they knew they'd get to the core of our being. Not the waner. He may already be a waner. Put your ear to the road. Maybe they're coming. Here they come. I can hear them. I can see them. Hey, I'm white line here. fever. <laughs> Give him the flag, Servo. Not a flag boy. Hey, oh, thought he left his gas cap open. Huh. 
kind of a lot of stock footage here. Okay, that's enough practice. Now, uh, put it on automatic. Yeah. Automatic? Automatic. 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 How come every time he says something, so the guy in the pit is surprised? I'm quite aware of that, Mr. Morley. Now, cluck like a chicken. Like a if chicken? Like a chicken. Clack? Lay me an egg. Right here? Now swallow the key. Thank you. See you later. Even Dragon Lady's mellowing out. She's just confused by the script. Aren't we all? Script? What script? Franklin, there's a uh, phantom jet bearing down on us. Uh, Frank? But the laser's on automatic. I'm gonna do something I haven't done so far. Play chicken. I'm gonna give you an order. And so help me Christ, if you say one word, I'll make your old school teachers look like saints. I want you to stand perfectly still. your butt. Why do you want to keep this thing going? Don't you understand? He just wants to keep the chase going. He's probably saying the same thing to himself. All that you're going to finish is each other. No, we're not. He no doubt about it. They're two of a Do kind. In his way or we're both dead. You know, if they weren't on opposing sides, they'd probably be friends. Uh-oh. Lee, you've pretty much got you covered with two genie rockets and... Tickle monster, tickle monster. <laughs> You're hurting my wrist. This is where the butt kicking comes in, I think. I've done a lot of losing the last 20 years. I don't want to lose you, too. See? Now do you understand? See, if I leave you in the desert, I won't lose you. I'll always know where you are. <laughs> Good point. There's still no change, sir. Neither of them is moving. Which one's more maneuverable on the ground? Looked like Chris Makepeace was. They're moving toward each other. The helmet's gonna do a lot of good in this situation. miles per hour, sir. Now, 
How do you win in this situation? 210. You kill Chris Makefield. 220. What did he do? I don't know, but I know what we're going to do. Watch what a commercial. Yep. It's a microphone. They always get those in the shots. Jet wash. I don't feel so good. What is this, bottom gun? Those guys should have popcorn. Can you do anything I think with they're going to be popcorn soon. Oh, no, just a minute. I want to hear what he says. No, you don't. pretty good. Hell, I ain't had this much fun since I was a cadet. Huh? <laughs> Neither am I, old man. Neither am I. Jam the communications and order that idiot back. That's an order he's gonna follow. Which idiot? There's so many. Are they close to the laser, Mr. Morley? Yes, sir. But they're it's not just cactus. A few miles ahead of them, sir. And they're moving. Something he hasn't dealt with yet. It should be exciting, though. Absolutely. That explosions. I'm all a quiver with anticipation. What the? So blow it up. What happened? Oh. Why did it miss? I don't know. Maybe it's rusty. Hey, I think he's going to attack the laser, sir. He used to have two full missiles on each wing. Those are gas tanks. Listen, Hart. Friends back home are getting impatient. They're getting red. What's the matter? It's been jammed. All right, fun's over. Those jokers have activated a laser up ahead. Can you fix it? I can't. Art, you hear me? Art. They don't have gas anymore, Art, but they can jam a laser, laser from 2,000 miles Stop away. Car. Get off the road. Art, stop the car, get off the road. You hear me? Art! We're just trying to have some fun. 
They're just getting their kicks on Route 66. Just trying to stop us his way. If that's the way he gets friends to pull cars. over, I'd sure hate to have a disagreement with him. Four wheeling. Ooh, doggy. God's sake, don't go through. Stop, stop, man. Once you've been bionic, there's no taming you. He's still dry on the wagon. Oh, he's on a jet plane. It's locked off and coming into range now, sir. Right. I guess that blows that theory. Not a flashlight in his hand. It's a flask light. It's a little nippy bottle. I can't stay with you anymore, Lee. Leave me here. I'm no good. I can't go on. I feel dirty when you're happy. Quick, look for his wallet. Quit rustling that cellophane. didn't break was his little nippy bottle. Would he get a DWI for that? Posthumously. <laughs> Frank? I think we're there. It's so golden and free looking. I can see Disneyland. Shouldn't there be a last chance casino first? They have made it. They have arrived at the California border unharmed. The old racing car drove 
drove out of the desert at 3 o'clock this afternoon and was greeted by the people of the border towns. Have any of you thought what this would mean? A car on the loose. A, a symbol. Form a snare drum, I think. A Porsche. People going all over. Shaking when hands. When they want to and where they want to. Walking Have you around. thought what else this could be? Using vending machines. Cars everywhere. Doing laundry when they want. People Convenience Watching stores. the things. Watching more TV. Instant cash machines. They have uh, Rocky Rococo pizza whenever you want it. Free and abundant parking. Let your grass grow and not carry it. Lionel Beach Goods. Skipping um, rocks by the lake shore. That Have snappy it? sound that thongs make when you walk. Having a Nesmith soda. Scraping off the underside of a Chevy. Set us back to the 1980s. Buying beach clothes even though there's no sea around here. Eating stuff that's bad for you. Joining the crowd by leaving the crowd. That's so hip. Leaving the theater before the credits end. Leaving the satellite theater and getting back to home base. Leaving gum under my seat. Leaving this place right now. Pretending we left, but really staying. Oh, staying for a while. Leaving my senses. Leaving on a jet plane. Ooh. Canada. Well, that 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 explains why it sucked. <laughs> hey. I thought Bird just drove the flew the jet himself. You can do what you want to. You can drive all the months across the desert. Thank you, again. But if there's no <laughs> desert, you have to be a hazard, and it's say Bird Day. Fly the saber jet. It's saber jet. Wait, who's the Lee Wright was the key grip. Okay, fine. Bye. See you up front. there was a guy named Commander Paul who had a kids show on Saturday morning. It was really bland. I mean, all he did was show cartoons and tell you the temperature outside. Although once in a while he had a lady from the zoo come over and talk about snakes or maybe a library person who would talk about books. After Commander Paul left the station, he was replaced by a Commander Dave and then a Commander Tom. They didn't really put much of their own personality into the show. You guys leave them behind by a million miles, and I can't think of anyone else who could do it so well. Thank you. Here's to more Japanese brain-eating space women with Georgia accents. And I'm Tom Modette for Motel 6. <laughs> That's Anton Marquardt. Thanks for joining us. We'll leave the light on for you. See ya. Bye.